that's a real hard question. And, and I think that one of the problems that we have is actually trust as a whole. People today are starting to not trust the internet as such. So not just with regards to cybersecurity, but they start to see it more as a threat than as being something that will enable all sorts of good things in their life and that will bring them jobs, that will bring them uh, a number of positive things, which is what we thought about it initially a long time ago on the net. You know, we thought, okay, this is going to be a brand new network, bringing people together, bringing world, maybe perhaps not world peace, but bringing people to talk to each other, and there's going to create, be a job creation, there's going to be a whole number of, of positive things coming out of it. One of the things, though, is internet is based on trust, because it's not about having a top-down structure where somebody regulates the internet and says it's going to happen this way or that way. Uh, the number of organizations that today run the internet are based on trust. So we, we talk, of course, about ICANN, uh, where you have registries, registrars, technical community, uh, civil society, and governments that trust the fact that if they come to ICANN, they can develop policies in a fair way. Um, if they lose that trust, then we have a problem. Same sort of thing also with the Internet Engineering Task Force where the technologists believe that this is a place where they can go and bring some ideas and some standards to the internet and then if you trust those standards then you're all welcome to use them. There's no top down in saying you have to use these standards. You're free not to use them but at the same time if you don't use them your services might not work anywhere else and you might just be, be wasting your time. Pro levels. Uh, the first one of course is to do with content and I think that President Macron this afternoon spoke for quite some time about the whole problem of having this hateful content. At the same time, it's a very fine line between deciding on what content is suitable and what content is not suitable, since as we all know, uh, somebody's terrorist is somebody else's freedom fighter. So you, you end up with this thing of who is going to be choosing what, what is good content and what is bad content. But ultimately, if you have a mass of people uh, that are around the world that all have an equal say into what is good content and bad content, you end up with a standard social norms where what is acceptable and what isn't acceptable is, is uh, found out uh, by, the, by the group uh, effectively. How to enable that is going to be very, very difficult. Uh, a lot of people say that the current multi-stakeholder systems are actually just the happy few, uh, the elite somehow that are uh, you know, deciding for the others and your average person in the street doesn't really know about any of this internet governance that, that is taking place. Some governments are arguing that because they are officials that are elected by their people, they should be the ones that make the choices. But then you and I know that not all governments uh, are fully democratic. Um, in fact, one could say that in fact uh, only a small number of governments are really uh, that democratic and many others actually have vested interests that, uh, that decide on, on which direction to go. So yeah, it's a, it's a tough one.